just want to show you how silly this is getting. I'm over at Chatbot AI. Now, people have been bigging this AI up for quite a while now, particularly this Chatbot version. I thought, OK, fair enough, we'll try it out. I'll pose a couple of questions to Chatbot AI and see what it comes up with. The first question was, who is Level Earth Observer? An artificial intelligence comes back. Level Earth Observer is a YouTuber known for promoting flat earth theories. So straight off the bat, artificial intelligence is lying about my claims. Nothing I've ever stated regarding the earth is theoretical whatsoever. And I'm not a flat earther, I'm a demonstrable realist. Which essentially means I stand by physical demonstrations that can be tested and verified by all. The results of which prove the globe earth theory is physically impossible. So straight off the bat, chatbot AI is lying and misrepresenting me. Who would have thought? Anyway, back to that. Level of Observer is a YouTuber known for promoting flat earth theories and skepticism of mainstream science, particularly related to space exploration and geology. The channel often features videos criticizing NASA and other scientific institutions. Well, the end bit was correct anyway. But I didn't like the lies and misrepresentations at the start there, chatbot AI. Bear with me. OK, so it was time to hit chatbot AI with the second question. And that question was, what physical demonstration proves a globe Earth? And chatbot AI came straight back with the goods. Several physical demonstrations and experiments provide evidence for a globe Earth. Oh, wonderful. But then we scroll down. The first so-called physical demonstration we get is a claim of photographs from space. Images taken by astronauts and satellites clearly show the Earth to be a sphere. That's not a physical demonstration, is it? That's a claim. A claim that goes against every physicality on this Earth. So citing photographs and images as proof of a physical demonstration isn't that savvy, is it, AI? Dear, oh dear. And then he cites, uh, AI cites circumnavigation. Again, that isn't a physical demonstration of anything. That can be done on a level plane. And then number three, we get the horizon. Another observation that has no physicality, as AI thinks ships disappearing supposedly from bottom up is physical proof of a globe Earth theory. Problem is, AI hasn't taken into account any of the optical variables, and of course, can't cite any physical demonstration of the substance at hand, water, to behave in the manner in which the globe Earth theory suggests. Large standing bodies of water just do not have the ability to display convexity upon its surface. Fact. So when you ask for physical demonstrations from artificial intelligence, it says it's got them. And then when you entertain it, it's just got observations that have no practicality. This is getting ridiculous. Have we got some more? Hang on. Time zones. Oh, dear. So number four, time zones. Again, that's not a physical demonstration, is it? Five lunar eclipses. Ah, oh, during a lunar eclipse, the Earth cast a round shadow on the moon, indicating Earth is a spherical in shape. Who proved that, that what happens during a lunar eclipse is down to a spherical Earth's shadow being cast upon the moon? Who's actually physically proved that? No one. No one on this earth. Again, it's just an empty claim. One that has no physicality. Variation in star constellations. Again, another observation in the sky looking the opposite direction of the earth. And finally, gravity. Gravity. Whatever is at play there, right? I don't deny the way reality presents itself to us and what is termed gravity. I don't deny that. I deny the daft stories attached to the way reality presents itself to us. 
but gravity only makes it worse because gravity can be overcome by a gentle breeze, therefore isn't man enough to make the globe birth theory a reality. Because it, something that can be overcome by a gentle breeze isn't going to be able to hold a tower crane upside down on the other side of a ball whilst it's spinning and wobbling and oscillating entertaining four different speed vectors at the same time, like the globe Earth theory suggests. Gravity, if it can be overcome by a gentle breeze, isn't going to make that a reality, is it? Tower cranes upside down on a spinning, wobbling ball uh, on the other side of the Earth in relation to me. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry, gravity can't make that a reality. The reality is, whatever is at play with regards gravity proves the effects of gravity prove it's not man enough to make the globe birth theory a reality. Fact. So even when we ask artificial intelligence questions, it cites observations and claims it's physical demonstrations, and then when you ask it a, a question about a demonstrable realist, me, it lies and misrepresents me. How anyone in this day and age still believes the globe birth theory when every single person on this earth can physically test and verify for themselves that that's impossible. Even artificial intelligence is showing you it's impossible. It claims it has physical demonstrations, but when you entertain it, it's just observations that have no physicality. Crazy times, I tell you. Have a good one, everyone.